Alright, what is up y'all? So, as I said on the Discord, this is a uh, an addiction I've been doing lately. This is one of my all-time favorite uh, Castlevanias ever. It's not quite Symphony of the Night, but uh, I am much better at this one than I am at Symphony of the Night, honestly. Uh, this is a brand new seed, I've never seen it before, and we're just gonna freaking do it, man. We'll just see what kind of a start we get. Two, ooh, what? There we go. All right. Let's go. Uh, if you've never played uh, Order of Ecclesia before, you're probably going to be kind of lost here. Because uh, I'm not going to be explaining the story. Ooh, La Piste. We're going to be skipping pretty much uh, all cutscenes here. Uh, fortune Ring. Uh, Playtime incre increases luck. That's no good, because we're trying to go fast. La Piste is great, but it's a little expensive. Which one's this? Melio Mace here, that's helpful. Uh, that's banned. That's actually a, uh, a, um, glyph that they added to the randomizer, and I don't like to use those, so I won't be. But, uh, we can do this Melio Mace here for now. It's definitely a lot cheaper than La Piste. So, uh, something about this game, resistances for enemies, uh, are a big thing. Like, this is one of the more difficult Castlevanias. Like, there's a lot of Castlevanias that you can, like, just run around with whatever weapon and kind of get away with it. Not the case in Ecclesia. This is, uh, very, um, very specific. So that's a confit error. Uh, just regular. Okay. So if you see that little green bar up there, um, that's MP in this game, and it basically, uh, every time you swing, it takes a little MP. It's like a stamina system, rather than a, uh, like, you just get to swing your weapon however you want. Uh, you actually, uh, t timing's everything. Also, we gotta check back here. Whatever it could be. Just a heart max up, okay. And hearts are how you do your uh, your big glyph unions, which is like, uh, so the glyphs you equip, obviously you can put different ones on here, and they have different uh, unite attacks, basically, where you use both hands uh, at once, and you get a big dumb attack. In fact, we're about to get hearts, so I'll show you. So this is the mace here. This is your hammer, basically. And together, it's a giant hammer. So, and that takes hearts. But yeah, uh, this guy, Barlow, don't pay any attention to him. Not at all important to the story, I promise. <laughs> also, if you hear that little chiming noise, that means there's a hidden chest underground. But uh, yeah, it's it's not always um, accurate. Cubis? Really? Okay. This glyph, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to really use it at all, but I'll show you what it does. Cubis is cubes that you can stack. And, uh, if you run into enemies that, like, just stand in one place, you can get them to, like, take a lot of damage, but, yeah. Uh, it's not too good. We're gonna stick to our, uh, our mace here, probably. So you get a few different glyph sleeves, like, see how I'm switching between A, B, C? I'm not gonna explain everything, but I'm gonna explain a little bit of the basics. See, like, I have a, a really good weapon right now. Great against that skeleton, right? Because it's a hammer. This guy, not so much. See what I mean by resistances? Like, if I had a sword, this dude would be taking ridiculous damage, but because it's the mace here, it's not. And he just now died, so. So I'll be grabbing this chest, and I'll be waiting for this wizard guy uh, to give me a, a glyph up here if he decides to. Whatever it is. I don't want that. That's double daggers, and daggers suck in this game. Also, you'll see a little bit of movement with the back dashing. That's before you get uh, other things to move with. Uh, turning and back dashing is like your best movement option. Or uh, if you have something that doesn't cost a lot of MP, you can back dash cancel like that. But yeah, that's a little bit too expensive.
Also, this town, there's a bunch of side quests to do in this town. We're not going to be doing them in the randomizer, unfortunately. Uh, really only matters in the, uh, the vanilla game. What we're going to be looking for is, uh, go mode for this is, uh, so basically what you do is you want to find all these villagers. Like, we just saved that one guy, he's always guaranteed. But the villagers can be anywhere, uh, that you find, like, uh, an item or a piece of equipment or something anywhere in the, in the game. And we want to get all of these guys, and once we find all of them, we can go here to fight a boss that only, we can only fight once we find all of the, uh, the villagers, and then once we beat that boss, we go here and fight another boss, and then Dracula's castle will appear, and then we have to go and beat the game. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, uh, in a nutshell, but considering that, um, by the way, these are usually linearly unlocked, but this is open world, so we can go wherever we want. Um, so right now, I'm gonna just go ahead and go here. We don't have any uh, progression relics yet, and that's basically what we're looking for right now. Double jump is the one that I want the most. Because, <laughs> not just because it unlocks a bunch of stuff, but because double jumping in this game feels great. And movement is great. Just in general. I just wanted to leash that guy because he takes too long to kill with the mace here, because he's not weak to it. Again, if we had a sword... Oh, I did my back dash backwards. Again, I did. There we go. So yeah, you kind of just want to go and find stuff. Uh, that's Velaticus. Okay, this is end game movement. Uh, this is our flight, so that actually unlocks a few things. Um, so yeah, this is, this is pretty good start. Uh, I hope we get double jump also, because, um, yeah, flight's nice, but there's also an item here that I want to get without getting it knocked into the water. Okay, it's a, uh, that is a luck glyph. I'm not too terribly worried about it. So yeah, we've got... Palaticus, so we can just fly over everything we don't want to deal with right now. They can sometimes hit me because they jump pretty high. Yeah. But yeah, this this is a pretty good start, uh, generally speaking. Because this does actually unlock pretty much uh, most checks on the overworld, actually. Uh, and then when we get, you know, low on HP and stuff, we just go to the village and hit up the sta save statue. Get the hell out. Alright, where to next? Uh, well, Monastery is a pretty good idea, considering we have Vladicus. We can uh, clear out this entire place in one go. This place also has a boss that's pointless to fight, because um, it doesn't have a check behind it, so there's no point to fighting him. We could be uh, flying over all these guys, but... Uh, I also like to get at least a little bit of EXP early on. And we go in that room just to unlock the teleporter so that we have a quick exit from this place when we get to the end. Whoop. Oh, shut up, it's not that serious. Okay, we got some leggings, good. Yeah, we want to find uh, equipment also before we start fighting uh, too, too many bosses. There's plenty of them we can fight that are difficult, but uh, it is always nice to have some equipment before doing so. What I really want us to, to do is find wing boots. Uh, that is, is that Acerbatus? Yeah, ooh, ooh. that's a, a great find. Um, so, it's pretty expensive, but that's pretty good, uh, pretty good cliff to find. These little, uh, dots here are for a different, uh, movement option, but since we have wings, we don't have to worry about it. Uh, Volmace here, not as good as Melio. So, uh, if you think about, like, you know, your Fire Emblem style stuff, you got iron, steel, silver, right? That's kind of like what these, uh, 
these different Maceers are. So I got Melio, and then Vol is the next one down, and regular Maceer is the first level. So Melio Maceer is the strongest one in that weapon class, so we just keep that. And we gotta save a kitty cat. Shut up. Oh shit, I did my slide badly. There we go. MP max up, we take those. Kinda wanna see what's back behind here, but I don't have a great way to do it. So this is where you normally get Cubis. Okay, that's not worth it. Uh, yeah, that's where you normally get Cubis. You have to... Typically, you want to have uh, Globus to get it. You can get it a few other ways, but uh, yeah. That... I'm not too terribly worried about. Also, uh, main character, Shinoa. Super cool. Just putting that out there. One of my favorite Castlevania protagonists. So see, any of these chests we're picking up, like these red chests giving us MP up. Ooh, Minerva Mask. We'll take that. Um, could be villagers in those spots. Like, see, there's one. So yeah, you want to take this torpor orb off of them, and uh, yeah, they'll just freaking wake up, and ooh, we dodged that horse head. Well, he got us anyway. <laughs> but yeah, some enemies can drop glyphs, uh, like that guy over there could. I actually missed a check back here, we should go... It's just a chest, but still worth it to check. Also, we got this great wall over here that leads to a whole other area. That could be a villager also. We're looking for villagers, and we're looking for a few uh, different glyphs. Uh, particularly, Dominus Hatred, Dominus Anger, and Dominus Agony is what we're looking for. Uh, because those are required to beat the game. Uh... And they can be anywhere villagers are, too. All the same spots. Sorry for the screaming. I can't help that banshees are loud. Ooh, wind ring. Uh, that's pretty good for other types of weapons that aren't hammers. But, uh, eh, that's not terrible to put on right now. Increases the uh, power of the slash attribute. Obviously, a hammer is not a slash. Okay, this is where I'm hoping for double no. Okay, serpent scale. Well, that unlocks the uh, the water areas, uh, which I guess is where we're going to be heading. I hate it when we get uh, serpent scale that soon, rather than... Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, uh, yeah, that's really good. So what that does is does more damage when you do glyph unions, and yeah, that's super great. Especially if we find certain glyphs as we go along. Uh, one glyph, the best glyph in the game that I would love to find early is Natesco. It's cheap, it's powerful, and it is perfect for endgame. Usually that's where you get it. You can't get it in the vanilla game until you get to uh, Dracula's Castle, usually. But uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're gonna hope to get it before then, because this is a rando, and you can. Go. So, we will get some HP back here. Let's see what this is. Emerald? Okay. And that's it for this place. There is nothing else here. That is That was a boss door, by the way, but again, beating the boss here doesn't really matter. But we do have the uh, Melio Mace here, which is really good for the next area I'm going to go to. Specifically for the boss, like right at the beginning. But yeah, I think we're just going to go to uh, Prison Island like, pretty much immediately. Because that's another one we can full clear because of the... Uh, Velaticus. I don't think I used any hearts. Yeah, no. 
So the only villager that I really care about finding is the shopkeeper. Because shopkeeper sells magical tickets, which are basically your warp back to town from anywhere. And uh, yeah, I'd really like to find him super fast. So we have a judgment ring, we have a Melio Mace here. This guy's a big ass skeleton, and he doesn't like Maceers. So our judgment ring attack is gonna do a lot. Of course I missed with two of them, but that's okay. Nice. And we get a medal. Whenever you beat a boss in this game without taking damage, you get a medal for it. It does absolutely nothing, it's just bragging rights. But, I'll take those. <laughs> you know I like my bragging rights anyway. So we actually lucked out getting a Melio so early, that's really nice. In fact. Uh, if you get caught in these spotlights, in this screen anyway, it's not a huge deal. It's just a, a big, like, sleep paralysis demon guy. But, uh, <laughs> later when you get caught by them, uh, Tin Man shows up and he is balls to the wall. Bonkers crazy damage this early. He's basically like a mini-boss. Oh wait, I don't actually have to do this. I have Vladicus, but I'll do it anyway. There we go. Stab me on bottom. This is a uh, glyph that increases like your physical strength and stuff, which is pretty good considering we have the mace here, but I probably won't end up using it just because keeping Platicus on all the time is uh, is just more uh, convenient. And I'll show this off now just because we're here. If you suspend in this game and then load the suspend, it brings you back to the beginning of the room you were in, so it's super convenient, especially because not only that, it heals whatever status effect you have to uh, when you load the suspend. So if I was poisoned there, I would have restarted at the beginning of that room without being poisoned anymore. So yeah, just little, uh, little in-game tricks with suspend. I'm getting a lot of Darjeeling tea, which just heals my hearts, so uh, that's nice. <laughs> also, the reason you're seeing these breakable walls shown is because that's a set setting for the randomizer. You can just have them shown. Okay, Magnus. Uh, this is an amazing movement option. In fact, I'm going to put it on. I'm just going to use uh, Velaticus when I need to by switching with sleeves. But yeah, Magnus is like the my most comfortable backdash canceling item. Lets you go pretty fast. But yeah, now I do need the Vladicus, because that's how we get up here. Whoop, 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 whoop now, buddy. <laughs> I forgot I was on Cubus. That's funny. <laughs> we got... Now oh, that's also banned. That's an attack that is part of a transformation glyph in this game. But, uh, yeah. We don't actually have the transformation glyph, and I don't like, uh, using, uh, the stuff that they added into the game. I like the stuff that's just in the game. Oh, I'm gonna hit the arrow. Yep. <laughs> Called it. Oh, he just dropped a, a pretty good um, movement option, too. Oh, there's a little man streaking out here. Uh, okay, there's our uh, first piece of Dominus. It's Dominus Anger. Not very good to equip and use, but we will need it to complete the game, as I said. Uh, yeah, this one of these guys dropped a pretty good uh, movement glyph, too. It's just the uh, Scutum, which is a shield. And uh, it's really good for backdash canceling, also. Oh, right. This is a cutscene. That wasn't bad gameplay that just got me to backdash out of the room. Whenever there's a cutscene involved or a villager is on screen, it'll accidentally... It, it'll turn you around when you're trying to turn and backdash in a room. So, yeah. What does he got? Oh, this is a uh, another uh, red. It's a summon. You can summon some stuff in this game, but it's not typically worth it. 
Uh, there's some good summons, but not ones that you want to, like, use all the time. Like, there's so many better options. Records just change the uh, background music. Nothing incredible. Like, here, I'll use it just to show you. Yeah, that's all they do. You usually have to get those from a, uh, a certain NPC. I'm gonna fly over this guy, I don't wanna fight him. Yeah, I, I considered speedrunning this game at one point. Uh, I might still do it. It just depends on how much work I want to put into it. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Okay, so... Mag or, uh, yeah. We could have used Magnus here. <laughs> Fucking Cubus. I keep forgetting I have that equipped. That's funny. There we go. What's this? Wing boot! Nope. Grab it. <laughs> I got baited, dude. That's Valkyrie Greaves. Still good piece of equipment, but I was hoping for wing boots. <laughs> Unfortunate. Wings. Gotta save all the cats. They're scared. guys. In these scary areas that they shouldn't be in. This game also has an amazing OST. Justice Ring? Uh, yep. Yep, yep. We're gonna go ahead and that's a big yep right there. Alright, yet another room where the uh, suspend trick is really nice. So we get to the end of it and it's nothing that we want. We can just, uh, if we don't die, that is. Not too high of a jump. I slid. You know I slid, game. Yeah, that's not really something we need or want. I'll get it anyway. But yeah. So now, annoying rooms like that, you just suspend and reload suspend, and you're back at the beginning. Alright. Now this is the place where the uh, Tin Man shows up. In fact, I'm getting the fuck out of here because he'll murder me right now. He touches me once and I'm dead. Pretty much right now at this HP. So yeah, I'm not gonna f I'm not gonna fuck with no Tin Man. Alright, different helmet. I think we're good with the Valkyrie mask, if I'm being real. Alright, uh, we have... We have Melio Mace here, dude. I am just going to the Skeleton Cave, because everything here is incredibly weak to this weapon. There's a villager. Hey, buddy. Let's get up there. Uh, this isn't really worth taking either. I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> oh, I tried to jump. There we go. Bad timing on that swing. Unfortunate. see what's up here in this chest. I like to check the uh, brown chests, even though they're not required, just because they could have good healing in them. As a cashmere thread, that's a quest item that we won't be using.
this room is uh, basically useless, but depending on what's in the brown chest, yeah. Let's just do this. <laughs> yeah, I could be flying over many more things than I am, but I also like to fight, <laughs> so. You'll see a lot of Vladicus later, I promise. Won't have much of a choice but to use it. Trust dinosaurs. Just don't do it. You're dead. This is a scary room. So we're actually going to come back to it after we save. This room's kind of scary too with the dinos, but no biggie. We save here, and then we'll go back and check that. I think I can hit it from here with a, uh... Actually, I think I'll just kill these guys. I was gonna say, I can probably hit it from above to break the statue so that whatever glyphs in there I can just get, but may as well just kill him here. We just saved. Okay, Redire. We just got the best movement option in the game. Uh, so let's fucking go. So Magnus lets you uh, immediately grip onto those little uh, nodules I was showing you. Well, when you throw one of these, it is one of those. So. Yeah, super fast. Uh, takes some skill to use. I am not at all incredibly good with it, but uh, eh, I'll use it. Alright, so now we'll just go kill Maneater. Oh, I wasted that one. There is a manipulation here. As long as you jump pretty close to his face from this side or the other side. I'm not getting my medal now, though, because I jumped into a fucking tentacle. That pisses me off. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I could have got a medal there, but I jumped into a tentacle and took a hit. Which, damn it. <laughs> Again, the medals don't matter at all. It's just bragging rights. But Maneater is one of the easiest ones to manipulate in the game. So it does, it does tick me off just a little bit. You're welcome, Anna. Heart earrings. Okay. So a little bit of progression there with the uh, with the kid. All right. I guess we're gonna go fight a crab. Let's go. So this is going to have to be Vladicus now, which is fine. <laughs> you can't fight this guy unless you have Magnus or some other way to uh, fly. So yeah, this is a perfect time to do this fight. <laughs> I don't know why a grab sounds like that in this game, but it does. And this is an auto-scroller fight, so, like, the damage you do only, like, serves to push him into his next phase. Like that. And then you just need to leash his claw.
Wait. Every claw. You're not costing me my metal. Dickhead. <laughs> Give him the line. Go to hell. Go to hell. Wait. Give me my medal while you're at it. Alright, we got three checks in this area. Uh, we might need that for a check in Dracula's Castle later, so I'll pick it up. Oh wait, no, that's Clovis. I thought that was, uh, Fulger. They eh, look similar. Whoop. I could have just taken the elevator. Oh well. <laughs> okay. I got too many of these things on screen. Heart max up. And... Ah, oh, it's that luck one. Not worried about it. Okay. No progression over there. Sucks. All right, so where else? We have Serpent Scale also, and we also have Redire now, which is, or Redire, however you want to say it. And we beat the lighthouse so we can go here. I'm gonna go top first though. So yeah, uh, movement in uh, this uh, area sucks because it's underwater and slow, but having something like Rigure makes that a little better. A babushka! Okay, fish. Fair enough. And you might be saying, like, we've already been here, but we haven't checked underwater here, so... Herofent ring. Okay, well, that gives us extra EXP, if we want it. But, I think we're good. What's better with uh, Radire is having like a tower ring, because the tower ring makes it so that you uh, you can not get hit by him. Like, you get hit by him, but it doesn't like stun you. So, like, yeah, doing this and being able to just fly through enemies is super nice. I gotta remember my routing through this place, because it does get confusing. Also, yes, I know about these rocks. Don't say anything. I know. <laughs> you all have dirty minds. Oh, that's a great place to get frozen, isn't it? Okay, dude. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. There's some more defense if we wanted, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, unfortunately, Radire does not do that much damage. I also missed a check down there, I think. Oh, it's just a warp point. Yeah, it, do it does, like very little damage, unfortunately, but, you know, what can you do? 
I don't think that's the best thing to use right here because we have to move this barrel over and not break it. While these friggin' jellyfish are everywhere, spawning endlessly. I'm gonna use my big rock fist. Uh, it does less damage. Because <laughs> of course it does. Oh, I used the frickin' Radir A. Damn it. I was on the wrong one. That's what I get. Let's try this again. ring, pudding, and plat plate. Well, that'll do it. 28 to 78 defense. Just in the nick of time. Ah, uh, missed opening it. Uh, uh. Sixteen HP, not bad. Anti venom, that'll be helpful in Salmus Reef. Not that I think I'll need it, actually, but whatever that is, I want it. Actually want it, huh? Oh yeah, this this way doesn't go anywhere. It's just another floating balloon area that uh, opens up a shortcut but doesn't give us a check. So ah, there's villager. I don't think there's actually a check over here. This is just an exit, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there is. Never mind, I'm a liar. There is no boss in this area, though, so you can pretty much just use up all your hearts if you have to. The boss is in the other, uh... The other area. This is an exit. Yep. The boss is in uh, Somnus Reef, which is the other underwater area. Yeah, this is a time where I wish I had a uh, freaking magical ticket, because this is so far down. There's another villager, though. This is pretty fast, actually. Shut up, Monica. I'm busy. Double jump, please. Hey! Oh, I should know better. <laughs> hey, there's a magical ticket right there. I'm gonna suspend, because I'm poisoned. So now, I'll be unpoisoned. How about that? Cavalier boots. Okay. 
I don't want that. Super nice that we got magical tickets when I was saying I would love to have one. And that glyph is banned, so we're done here. Okay, what's next? Um, I guess it's yeah, Somnus Sol Reef, probably. Uh, well, actually, we can go to uh, all of Taimyo Mountains right now because we have uh, Vladicus and Double Jump now. Super wish I had a Tower Ring. Do it. I swear to God, dude. I'm not getting poisoned. Another, uh, not uh, item that we need for progression or anything, but another super important item. Uh, the Death Ring. If I find the Death Ring, I'll be a very, very happy man. I'll tell you what, what it does. If I find it. Also, Dominus Agony would be great to find, too. We have to find that to, uh, to beat the game. So it's always available to us, uh, by the end of the game, which is really nice. Uh, but yeah, I want it sooner rather than later. Yeah, this Melio Mace here is doing work, really. Shit. Okay, it's on. Uh, we won't be using pretty much anything but this uh, outside of movement now. Uh, yeah. I'm going to raise my int. How is my int right now? 12. Ah, right. So this is Natesco. This was the item I was talking about. Um, yeah. Natesco is uh, really busted. Best glyph in the game, if you're familiar with, uh, if you're familiar with, um, Symphony of the Night and Nova Skeletons, then you, you should recognize this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is, uh, Tesco, Tesco, Magnus, Magnus. We don't want to leave yet. Obviously, we got more checks to do. I don't care about being poisoned. I can just suspend. It's fine. We're not even worried about it. Honestly. At the moment. Oh, yeah. That's not going to kill him too well. Natesco, well. Natesco kills everything. I did all that for a brown chest, but uh, yeah, by the end of the game, you might need some healing, so sometimes it's good to check brown chests. I could just Vladicus over all this, but I don't really care. The rock is doing one damage. So, totally fine. We can't get down into there just yet, because we need uh, parries. Which is another uh, movement thing. It's not really a movement option, but... It's just uh, a way that you have to unlock certain things. Okay, right now I think Melio Maceer is probably... Uh, better 
No, I think Natasco is still good. Yeti! He's very hard to kill because he's super fast. Yeah, once we get something that can raise my hint like crazy, we'll be great. It's the only freaking uh The only glyph we'll ever need. Also, my movement this seed has been awful. Let's see if there's anything up here. Nope, nothing worth getting. It's just a transformation glyph. I barely use those. Ticket right there. Okay, I'm dropping pretty much every movement option now. So, Radire, still faster than this, but uh, this is way easier to use. So, Rapidus, exactly what it sounds like. Super fast. Also, uh, really cheap. You do it one time and it lasts uh, until you save. Basically. So yeah, uh, Rapidus is the shit. This is one I'd love to have a tower ring with. <laughs> you basically just like go through everything. You have so many iframes, it's unreal. That's a hosta. Yeah, it's just a regular lance. So yeah, you just slam into stuff and not worry about it. This guy has a glyph that he might give me if I wait long enough. Come on. Nope, he feels like diving today. Come on. Cast your dumb spell. There we go. Ignis, uh, that's vanilla, I'm pretty sure, but we have Metesco, so what do I care? This, uh, Natesco is great just in general, but it is, uh, it really shows its power with the Glyph Union, with this, and a weapon Glyph, which we will get to eventually. But, not quite yet. Alright. This is going to make Somnus Reef a hundred times better. Just the fact that we have Natesco now. And Rapidus. In fact, we're gonna go there now. It's fine that we're going to get uh, poisoned a couple of times. I don't really care. I'll just get rid of it. Kia. Yeah, those starfish always poison you when you touch them, no matter what. I love the way those guys die. Just looks cool. Now, as far as going fast through this place, outside of uh, having Rapidus, that is, uh, this is one of the more difficult areas to uh, memorize navigation-wise. But, uh, it's not too bad. Oh, having a... Having a... Uh, villager here really sucks. Because we're going to walk down into there. Oh, nope, we didn't. Get away from me, Lorelei. You're the bad kind. Yeah, 
Yeah, Natesco kind of tears these guys to shreds too, which is really nice. Because they are the most annoying enemy down here with the poisoning and everything. Whoop, there is another one there. And we got. That is just another Fidelis, which I don't care about. Mint Sunday, I'm pretty sure, is a heart recovery item, which is pretty good. Spoiled milk, I don't really care for. Nice weaving that, threading that needle there. Shut up, ghosts. Nobody gives a care. Alright, so, let's see if we can show off uh, Natesco being badass here. I still don't have um, uh, Dominus Agony, unfortunately. But this should still be good. Let me uh, reset the room so I can save now that I equipped everything. Give you a little taste of how slow we move if we didn't have Rapidus. So, I do have... Heart repair. And I wasted all my hearts. <laughs> That's funny, dude. How about that, uh, how about that Mint Sunday, huh? Oh, I just killed myself. <laughs> Alright. So right now, uh, honestly... Let me see. Yeah, that's still good. Let's go Melio Mace here. Judgment Ring gives us more damage on the... Uh, and giving me better hint than 13. Uh, eh. This is still good. I just need to be a little bit more careful. Shit, I broke all of them. On accident. Alright, I got one now. You know, I'm starting to think this is probably gonna do more damage. Nope, about the same. Uh, that's exactly why I wanted you to keep hitting me instead of that. Sure, I'm gonna take some damage here. Mm-hmm. Doing it a second time? Oh, I heard her say it again. Not a pretty way to do it, but it was a way to do it. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Oh, 
all right. No more underwater uh, stuff. I used way too much. I was just playing like an idiot, trying to do it fast. Overestimating the lightsaber, you know. Alright, uh, I guess we'll do... Um... <sighs> yeah, let's do Tristus Pass. Let's just get that over with. Another mountain. I uh, want whatever that is up there. Come on, I knew you're there. Oh, you're not. Okay. Come on. Super tonic, okay. It's a mimic. That looks like a gold ring from here. Morbus. Eh. Not the best. That was my shopkeeper, so hell yeah. We'll do this the intended way, why not? I don't want that anyway. <laughs> it's another knife cliff, I don't really care. Curse me. That's what I thought. Dominus Agony. That's what I've been waiting for. Alright, that's two pieces of Dominus. That's the most important piece in the game, honestly. Alright, buddy, I know what I'm beating. Ah, 
Of course. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Let's restart. Because I have parries, which is a glyph that allows you to go through walls. Oh. Certain walls. Get here, you don't have parries. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Alright, so we have the shopkeeper, so I'm probably just gonna magical take it out of here and just buy some. something? I do. I'll buy all your meat, too. Thank Come you. Come back again. I will. Sorry, kitty. Alright, and uh, Misty Forest Road is definitely next with Perry's. You got something. Numa, I'm good on that. Even with a wind ring, I'm good on that. I got the Tesco, bro. Oh, hey, bud. He's right here waiting for me, huh? Oh, that's Laura. Okay. up. We take those. Excuse me, big guy. Well, that's nothing I need. By the way, this is an endgame enemy. If he hits me, it's going to do a lot of damage. I'll take this, I guess. I'm not gonna use it, but I like to collect glyphs because it's fun. If you haven't seen the power of Nintesco yet, you are now. There it is. I knew he was waiting. He was waiting until I came into range. That big swing hurts a lot. Of these things to kill until we reach the end of it. Yeah. Really? Nothing but curry back here? Great. I'm not gonna waste a magical ticket leaving this place. Pretty 
fast to get out. No. No! Bad touch. Stranger danger. Alright, where are we going? How many villagers do I have? That's a good question. I'll check that in a second. <sighs> All of them, huh? <clears throat> so I'm just looking for Dominus pieces at this point. I got anger and agony and nothing else? Okay. Still a good idea to check these areas uh, for Dominus. If I had all three Dominus pieces right now, I would be skipping the shit out of this place. There's also a nice random death ring we can always come across too, which would be just fantastic. Horse of dress. address uh, that's a lot of defense I'd be losing good on that I think it's not me I'm not your beloved all right we're cursed so we're definitely suspending when you get cursed you uh all your MP drains out so yeah screw a bunch of that I could seriously have just flown over that guy with Vladicus, but I like, again, I like to fight. Money? Okay. Oh, forgot about these guys. I guess there is really no point to suspending there. There's a save point coming up, like, pretty much immediately. Alright, so we're going to Dominus Agony, Natesco, Melia Maser, reset the room, save again. So this should should uh, illustrate the damage a little bit better. Of course, I only have 90 hearts. Might not be enough to uh, one-shot him here, unfortunately, but... Dominus Agni makes things a little bit better. And turn it off, get the hell away from him. Wait for him to jump. Or just do that, you know. <laughs> Always want to make sure you take off Dominus Agony after the fight before getting the orb, just in case you decide to hit R1, thinking it's your movement tech, and you hit Dominus Agony, it drains your health and kills you after the fight. <laughs> you know. Never fun. Alright. Well, that's done. Uh... Hmm. I really, really don't want to fight the fish. But I guess we will. So, funnily enough... This uh, location, Oblivion Ridge, I wrote a song with that title because of this game. It has nothing to do with this game except for the title, but it was cool, so I used it. <laughs> Pretty cool song, too. I might put it on the Patreon or something if people are interested enough. Alright, this is one that I like to wait for him to jump before I... Uh, Put my Dominus Agony on. <laughs> oh, actually, um, I'm out of hearts. Should have gone back and refilled. Oh well. I might just use uh, that one of those heart repairs. There we go. Hate to be using up all that stuff, but. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just, uh... Go back up and turn this off. 
put uh, Ravenous Vio back on, double Nintesco. Actually, uh, Elio Macer is probably going to be better here, just in a vacuum. Oh, I thought he was coming in. Now he is. There we go. I got hit, though, so no... No metal that time. Oh well. Let's see if there was a uh, Dominus back here somewhere. All right. Nice level up. Nice, Eclair. That's uh, Bolgrondo. I don't really care about that. Iron. Okay. So everything must be in the mystery manner, I think. We got, uh, I went everywhere else. So, yeah. It's either there or it's uh, Dracula's Castle, you know. We'll find out. Could really use a couple of heart max ups here. Make this a lot easier. Or a death ring, you know. What do you have? Lapista already got it. Thanks, buddy. Death ring? Heart max up. Okay, well, there's one of the things I was going for. Gotcha, kitty cat. Nerva Greaves. Another heart max up. Hell yeah. We will take Minerva Greaves over Valkyries. Thank you. Need that. Save here real quick. Let's see what's this way. Yeah, there's a special way you need to get through here in vanilla, but since we have Rapidus, it's not that big of a deal. We also have killer defense, so these things are only doing one to us, and that's useless. Alright, so it's Albus time. Uh, tsh, same old song and dance, my friend. <laughs> Sorry, Albus. Alright, Bloomin' Audio. Great. Yep. Alright, especially when there's little cutscenes at the end of this, you want to make sure you take the shit off before you die. Alright, we can magical take it out of here. Because we got another boss to fight. Yeah, this amount of hearts is just, like, perfect. Any more than this is kind of overkill. Remember that guy at the beginning of the game I told you not to worry about? Still don't worry about him. He'll be fine. What the hell? There's no way I never broke that. Oh, that was the uh, Agartha. Right, right. Alright. Uh, Let's do it. Same old song and dance. Probably gonna die first. Yep. Shit. Because <laughs> I missed a couple. There's Dominus Agony for you. Gotta be careful with that shit. That's a that's a scary freaking glyph, dude.
frozen. Shit! Uh... Here we go. That's what I thought. Did I get hit? Did I really get hit in that fight? I don't remember getting hit in that fight. Okay, there's the chest <laughs> appearing. Where's my frickin' Barlow metal, dude? Alright, so now Dracula's castle is unlocked. Uh, and we got everything from the overworld. We don't really need jet. This is a uh, training hall is an extra dungeon, and so is large cavern. And then this one has no checks in it, so we don't go there. So yeah, we're in uh, Dracula's castle now. We need a uh, very little bit for go mode now. We need uh, Dominus Hatred, I'm pretty sure is the one we're still looking for. And uh, now we need three parts of Cerberus that are scattered through Dracula's castle. I kind of like it how it's like half go mode in the overworld and then another half when you get into Dracula's castle. Super cool. Also, one of the best lines in Castlevania history here. Not that one. Right here. That is one of the most badass lines ever. Shino is so fucking cool. Let's go. Also, this track is my favorite one in the game. By the way, this uh, this castle without double jump, I've done it a few times, really sucks. Also, that relic is pointless, it just tells you the name of enemies when you hit them. Uh, yeah, this, this freaking castle without double jump is terrible. Like, I had to go through it with Velaticus, and uh, that was it. This is the parries area, right? Not doing that yet. We are looking for a death ring still, if we can find one be fantastic. There's one part of Cerberus. This eyeball would let me get it. Fuck you, dude. Thank you. That was a really quick find, actually. Kind of worries me when we find them that fast, because, uh... Yeah. What was this, Melio? That's my favorite one. The sickles are my f my preferred weapon to use in the game. And, uh, yeah, that was a sickle. I was just hoping it was Melia to replace the mace here. <laughs> and this is my favorite area in the whole uh, castle. It shouldn't be a surprise as to why. It is literally a giant library with a shit ton of books in it. It is not time to feed. What's that? Ah, oh, Church Heart. Okay. That's another quest item that you get during the regular game that's pointless in the rando. I wouldn't say pointless, I mean you could do all the side quests in the game if you wanted in the randomizer and probably get some cool stuff. Ow. But yeah, it's kind of a waste of time when you're trying to go fast and like just beat the seed in a decent amount of time. Oh my goodness, can you guys chill? I know, you have a big dumb fist. I know, I've seen it. Uh, nope, I don't need that. I have Acerbatus. That's just a nice option to have for a later boss in case we have to fight him. Also, this is the easiest metal in the game. This is where you usually get parries. 
you steal his glyph and he dies in the wall. And you get a medal. Ooh, hoo, hoo, baby. All right. Queen of Hearts. Just push this over the edge. I fucking love it. So we effectively have uh, 220 hearts total now because of the Queen of Hearts. Really piece, good piece of equipment, plus it uh, halves the amount of hearts you use. Oh, hey, Tin Man. You want to chill, buddy? Yeah, you, you get to know your way around the castle just by running it a lot. But it can be confusing at first. Winged boots, and I don't need them now because I have Ravenous. Like, <laughs> winged boots are something that's great to find, like, as, like, your first item that you find in the game. It is so nice. Because it just makes your walk speed super fast. Oh, yeah, there's nothing over there. It's me. Okay, Tin Man, I'm leaving. Uh, that sure looked like Dominus to me. If I can ever get up there again. Yep, that's my last piece. Still need the other two Cerberus pieces. That is not gonna be good, never mind. Because I already have uh, the mace here I need. Alright. Take it on out of here. I don't need any hearts. All right, let me go grab a drink real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> right, let's roll. Oh, nope. I don't need to use that. I always do that, I swear to god. Good thing there's a save point right here. Who's coming up next? Blackmore? Pretty sure. There's Fulger, I think, right? Yeah. Looks similar to Globus on the map. Excuse me, sir. It's rotten meat. Exactly what I wanted. Every time. Alright, so care. Worry about that. This. This is the dead end that opens up later. This area is where you would normally get in a Tesco from these guys. What do they got this time? A bow? Oh shit. Check and see what this is. Chest. Whoop. I mean to jump back into that guy, honestly. Okay, gonna have to kill up here. Cause I'm 
I'm worried. Uh, that is just Grondo, isn't it? Ah, okay, that's fine. boots the other speed boots they're less good than the wing boots death ring souffle fuck <laughs> I can avoid dying the first time like I do almost every time. Hey, let's go. Get wrecked. I know these bosses are a little anticlimactic with uh, Natesco, but you won't hear me complaining. You want to fight the bosses? You go fight them. I, on the other hand, have paid my dues in the vanilla game enough times. I will enjoy playing the rando. Granted, you do have Natesco by the time you fight Blackmore, but. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Death ring! Mother... <laughs> I want it so bad. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, we want to go this way again. See, I should have honestly, uh, done, um, the up check from here, uh, before leaving the castle, because then I could have, I could have gone a different way that would have been faster, but that's okay. Like this, this area's uh, north, because the way that I have to go is back uh, right after Black. Whoop! I'm gonna jump in front of that ship. We know what it does. Because this, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, it's just an item check. Valkyrie Mail. Way less defense. I think I want to keep my defense for running through this shit. Whoop! Be jerks, you guys. Just trying to finish my seed and go home. Whoop! 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 whoop, whoop. This area is dangerous. I also just tend to run right into stuff when I have Rapidus. That's another Sakari, okay. Wait for the rock.
It's a cool little parries puzzle. It gets you to, like, get to use the, uh, you know, thing you just got at the end of the game to get around the castle in fun ways. Okay, that's not anything I want. Oh yeah, by the way, this is like the only puzzle in the game. And the solution is just to push the bottom one first. That's it. I guess it's not the only puzzle in the game, but... <laughs> really weird that it's, uh... Just kind of shoehorned into that one little spot in the gas holder. <laughs> Not expect that fire to reach down there. Glad I reacted when I did. Like that. Now the reward for getting out of here is that there is a uh, save point pretty much immediately after you do. What's that? Folger again? first holder. Alright. Alright, let's go. Oop, I always do that when I have Rapidus. Hard as fuck not to go off of that ledge as soon as you walk out. Whoop. Little magician ring. That's gonna help a hell of a lot with my Tesco damage at some point. I think that's the last thing I need is more hearts, honestly. <laughs> I take some HP now. Oh my gosh, I was ready to dodge him and I just didn't. am I doing? Care about that. I thought that Blade Master was still alive. Shoes that doesn't do anything for me. You always do that, don't you? Nothing up there. HP max up, we'll take that. Whoop, nice turnaround. Whoa! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that Gurkha was fucking like, I'm out of here, dude. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use this opportunity to go back to 
the town real quick. Buy some more meat. Hey, you want to buy something? Come back again. Thank you. Fighting bosses, I should just have the mission ring on. This is gonna lead anywhere. Yeah. It's freaking M's, dude. That's uh, transformation, don't care. of action will be to go down first. You get to make a choice here. You either go up or down. Ooh, it's right here. Um, that's two of them. Maybe I go up in that case, because that gets me uh, closer to the um, the Cerberus statue. I think that's a good idea. Wait. Well, let's just, uh... Probably gonna need to use that a lot anyway. during the uh, freaking Dracula fight, I'll tell you that much. Whoops. Go uh, unlock the shortcut. Hundred percent. Cave troll, do not fuck with me. A lot of damage. He's pretty annoying to fight. Alright. That's all we needed to do. Oh, I guess, uh... Okay, let's, uh... Go to the statue while we're at it. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't have to open anything over here. I think it's just the one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's just the one. I knew that. This just leads over that way. hurts a lot. Gotta be careful. I do not have all of them yet, right? No, I need one more. With my luck, it's gonna be a fucking allegory. Better not be. Death better freaking have it. Since that's where I'm heading. Shit, shit. Leave me alone. Alright. Probably hit up some more meat. Don't 
don't trust myself. Wait. I'm gonna get stoned. Nope. Missed me. Wait. So usually you'd have to get around here with Magnus, because you don't get uh, Vladicus until way later. That's nothing. Vladicus you don't get until, like, uh right before the last area of uh, Dracula's castle. Like, that's it. Oh, I mean to do that. There it is. Okay, that's all of them. Uh, we have all the Dominus pieces, so yeah, that's time to uh, magical take it on out of here. Kind of wish that we would have fought, uh, found the death ring, but that's okay. We may still yet, actually. But yeah, we're go mode now. It's straight to the end boss. We get to see the library one more time. Yay. Are fucking pain, dude. All right. So now that we have all the pieces of Cerberus, we Dextro, we Sinestro, and we Arma. Bang, bang, bang. That's all we needed to do. Now it's on the last part of the castle. Whoop, don't stone me. Yeah, we'll stall, oh, mother. Didn't mean to use those hearts there. That's alright. We'll refill them by the time we get up there. Usually I just try to go all the way through. Get off of me, dude. Usually I just try to go all the way through here, uh, just taking damage as I go, just to make it faster. But, uh, I'll be a little bit more careful this time, I think. That's a brown chest down here. Ah, look at me being careful and doing exactly what I said I'd do. Leave me alone. His last line of defense, a shit ton of cave points. Oops. Actually, this is his real last line of defense right here. These uh, final knights. They hurt a lot if they touch you, too. Hey, level. Haven't seen one of those for a while. Kinda wanna see what's over here. Nothing. How did I not jump kick off of that? Okay, it's nothing. Oh, hey buddy. Uh, okay. We can probably survive this area. Without dying on the way to Drac. Yeah, here we are. Alright. This would be the end of the seed. Let's go ahead and get set up here. Oh. I got a butt ton of hearts, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's make sure that we're equipped with that, uh, Judgment Ring. Not worried about 
defense because I'm trying not to get hit at all. Force of dress. Set the room. I always do that on accident. All right, let's go. Let's see if we got it. How much damage we're doing? We got plenty of hearts. Oh yeah, Dominus Agony. Plenty of hearts, not a ton of HP. So we need to be a little bit more careful than that, which is fine. I will toy with you Such Hurry. There we go. It's not over. Now we need all of our Dominus pizzas. Uh, anger, hatred, agony, and time. It's over. So, I didn't really time that, because we're trying to go fast, but uh, not so much with having a timer. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Order of Ecclesia um, Rando. Pretty fun. I love this game, just in general. Like, vanilla, vanilla Ecclesia is fun as hell. Chino is cool as shit. The story's good. Uh, and there's like a million different ways to play. There's, uh, you know ways that you have to play in certain spots, but, you know, it's just a fun-ass game, and, uh, you should play it. Everybody should play it. I love this freaking game. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably do a couple more of these if you guys are interested. This one was kind of sloppy, because I started it pretty late, uh, and, yeah, I'll probably play one where, uh, my movement's just a little bit better than it was this time, and my decision-making's a little bit better, too. That Rusalka fight was terrible. Uh, <laughs> I gotta make up for that. And getting a hit hit by a uh, man eater was dumb. So, yeah, I'll probably do another one pretty soon. But uh, thanks you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.